Hi, welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. In my last videos, we had completed the rounds of Jupiter. And we had completed it till third round of Jupiter. Because of my health issues, I think that I will not be able to continue with the rounds of Jupiter because rounds of Jupiter you people can learn by yourselves if you try to utilize the methods which I have already explained in the three rounds of Jupiter. Same thing but only the Baba results. That round will continuously give the results of the fourth house or the fourth house aspect or the fourth house lord's placement or the fourth house lord's aspect by the other planets. This is how it is going to continue and I am sure that you are going to pick it up very fast. Now I want or today I thought of giving you the month wise predictions. This is what I thought is more important than the rounds of Jupiter because this is the main spinal cord. For whoever comes to an astrologer or whoever tries to ask an astrologer, he will be bothered about the immediate happenings or he wants to know when the bad period is going to end. These are the few basic things which a person or a native rushes to know to an astrologer to know about the life total life we can tell him but he will be the native will be concentrating more on nearby incidents okay if at all he's having a or a malefic effect or a bad effect he wants to know when that effect will be cleared and if it is uh, if he is struggling already he wants to know when these things will come to an end. It may be money, it may be loans, it may be marriages, whatever it is, anybody who is suffering from these things, they will definitely try to know how nearer the day it is. To know that, first thing we have to take into consideration, the rounds of Jupiter. First and foremost is, the rounds of Jupiter. Next, keeping that as basis, the principles of the rounds of Jupiter as basis, then you are going to go to trace out the month-wise prediction. How can you know the month-wise prediction? Of course, people have so many tools. One is Dasha Bhukti, one is Astakavarga, one is Gochara, among all these things which I found or I found this system to be more precise, more fruitful. For all the things we were searching, I found this system of knowing month-wise prediction is more or very nearer to accuracy. Why I am telling this it is very nearer to accuracy? Of course. I have seen it working 100% also, but still to be on a safer side because whenever we get into the world of media, we have to face a lot of people or we have to face a lot of criticisms. First comes the critic, then comes the realization or then comes the study. Okay, So everybody in their own views or in their own percep perceptions, they will try to criticize the basic structure of it. Let us not call for that or let us not fight with that modus operandi. We have our job on hand to know month-wise predictions. For that, as I told you earlier, the first basic important thing is the rounds of Jupiter. Before anybody comes and asks you, for example, if it's aged 40, you have to hunt for the 36 to 48 round. 
For example, if he comes, if his uh, the native's age, he or she, if her age is, or if his age is 28, 24 to 36 round, keeping that as basis, how to calculate the month-wise prediction? The same incident, what has to happen between the 24 to 36 and which is the planet which is going to give that particular significations or which planet is going to shower that significations on the native of the chart and which is the month that is going to tell that. That we are going to know now. How to find out about the month, from where the month starts, that I am going to explain it to you all today. After this, we will just see how far it is good by tallying a chart. That is the second part. The subject is more important. If you are quite catchy or these things are quite catchy, if you are intelligent enough or if you know how to take things, definitely you will learn it very quickly. Okay? So, <clears throat> we all know that 12th September 12th September 2017 Jupiter has entered into Libra. Okay? Jupiter has entered into Libra on 12th September 2017. Please don't ask me it was in 13 September in one place, 14 September in another place. Yes, whatever place you are situated at, according to that, you can know. But where I am living and with what I got, I can explain it to you the method of month wise calculation. Okay? This is a chart of a person. We have noted that Jupiter was in Libra or entered into Libra on 12th September. Okay? So, our assumption, our assumption is that, or what naughty astrology says, is that when the transiting Jupiter, it is going to stay, the transiting Jupiter is going to stay in the Rasi, Tula, Libra, Okay, for one year. Again, I would like to request you all, kindly don't take the retrograde period into consideration. Yes, you will get that information also about the retrograde planets. When you can catch these things, finally, just for retrograde planets, I am going to come up with a video. Right now, we have on hand one chart and we know about the entry of Jupiter, transiting Jupiter into Libra and this gentleman's uh, chart has Venus and Moon there. Okay. Now the whole year from September 12th, 2017 till 12th, September, or 12th August 2018 it will be here in Libra again next year 12th September 2018 it's going to jump into Vrishchik Scorpio like we usually see one year in one particular Rasi or sign Jupiter will be rotating in that 30 degrees. Ah. Just like how I said, we don't consider the retrograde period. I would also like to repeat that. We don't even consider the degrees. For example, we don't know which degrees Venus is sitting here. We don't know which degrees the Moon is sitting there in Libra. But still, as soon as we see that transiting Jupiter is coming into Libra or Tularasi, 
we immediately say the whole year this gentleman will have a lot of changes in his life because of moon will have money flow because of venus will purchase a vehicle because of venus there will be entry of a new child because of venus all these things you can say with the help of the planet venus shukra the planet moon chandra chandrama clear fine this is for the whole year do you think the whole year from september 12 2017 till 12th august 2018 or uh, the transit transiting jupiter staying in libra will give you the same results throughout the 12 months never it has to change september may be different october you may see some changes november there will be different happenings in your house or in your personal life so anything is possible in that whole year it is not one thing just like venus and moon giving its significations for the whole year you will get those significations you will get the results according to the placement of planets natal planets and the <coughs> excuse me and the transiting jupiter okay but next what happens next month the whole september okay thola when the next month begins what happens the next month this has to be noted because we have to move forward until until we get back to libra there are 12 months and there are 12 signs from libra from tula you have got scorpio sagittarius and uh, Aqua capricorn aquarius pisces a a aries vrishabha mitram gemini karkataka cancer leo simha virgo kanya then only after completing is 12 hour 12 signs 12 rasis tour mr jupiter after completing the 12 rasis tour he is going to finish his libra period and he will jump into the vrishchik rasi so the whole here what all he is going to do is based on individual charts month wise okay. before starting month wise i will explain you know month wise but before starting that once again i would like to repeat that since the beginning i have been telling you the planets which are going to give the results are first thing placement of planets whatever the sign or rasi planets are placed that signs i mean the planets placed in that particular sign they will give you that results second from that sign trinal signs for example venus and moon are here jupiter has come here now we have to see who are there in the trinal signs trinal to libra we have got ketu here we have got mars here so within this one year a death may take place an accident may take place and money and changes may take place new birth child birth venus entry of a venus may take place flow of money may take place this is the whole year month wise when you go also the same principles you have to apply for example the rasi i will tell you how to go the month wise when you go to the next sign from there the trinal signs planets in those trinal signs planets aspecting that sign planets placed in that sign these are the things 
we are going to get the result or happenings through. Those planets only, trinal sign planets, planets placed in the sign, planets aspecting that sign. These are the three principles only you have to follow. Placement, aspect, placement, trinal. These are the three signs. These are the three results we are going to get. Clear? Fine. Now I told you the whole year, the whole year, Jupiter will be in Libra. Fine. How can we calculate it month wise? Please note this very carefully. This is the spinal cord. This is the main theme of the system. This is the backbone of the system. Without this, even though you learn so many things, you will not be able to give the happening of events. That's why repeatedly observe or repeatedly go through the video. Whatever, however intelligent you are, in that manner you can learn. What did I say now? This is the place where transiting Jupiter entered. That is on 12 September 2017. Now we are going to split or assume. The best word is assume. Jupiter in Vrishchikarasi on 12-10-17. So, throughout the September month from 12-9-2017 till 12-10-2017 he will be in Libra Thula. Month wise, if you have to calculate, you have to put him in the next house that is Scorpio on 12 10 2017. Likewise, he can go into Sagittarius Danus Rasi or sign on 12 11 17. Okay, next. Capricorn, Makar, Rasi on 12-12-17. Okay. Next, Rasi. 12-1-18. Okay. Here. 12-February-18. Next, 12-March-18. Next, 12-April-18. 18, 12 May 18, 12 June 18, 12 July 18, 12 August 18, 12 September 18. Finished. 12 October is back. One year is over. From 2010-2017. Again, please forget the retrograde part of it. Don't actually go according to. You can assume. You can take the calculation. Because this we have derived. This 12-9 we have derived. We got that date. According to the retrograde period only. But for result wise, but for result wise or month wise results, we continue from the date where he has entered. We don't treat the retrograde period at that time. If you want to so, be so precise, you try to use it. I have not concentrated on that because that negligible period of 2-3 months hardly it will give us any much. But this I found it very useful, very accurate. Though, so, he 
here without any with with i mean while considering the retrograde period what the i mean when the jupiter entered to the from there only we started at the same time when he comes here in between he'll be struggling here when we take into count for one more for the next year you don't assume you take the exact period of jupiter entry here then only the next 12 months the 12 months period you can assume but entry has to be precise that is not used for our happening of events but the entry entry means according to the charts according to the what you got the third quarter is according to the retrograde portion left off that date you have to take here for entry like that only we take we took here 12 september don't forget that when you place the transiting jupiter you place it there but when you assume the month wise calculation kindly don't go for the retrograde period this is what i was struggling to tell you i was trying to tell you i was forcing myself or forcing you people's concentrate for that because you go flat if at all you forget about this and blindly if we take next year from 12 october one fine day you will be somewhere and jupiter will be somewhere no when you put it in the next rasi for for one whole year put it according to the retrograde expiry day expiry period but when you assume for month wise predictions kindly calculate from the entry of the date of entry of into that side from there exactly one month one month because we'll get 31 days we'll get a uh, 30 days month 28 days month february 29 days february there we are going to miss a certain things of course we can be precise even that also astak varga will help us there right now i don't want to distract you all for astak varga astak varga is a separate field or separate study let me not call it field it is a separate beautiful study so let it me not so let me not confuse you all in this context no 12th i told you september 12 kindly once again i repeat it please take the date of entry after that you assume one one month in one one rasi from that date of entry when you pick up the first date throughout the year that date is inclusive of retrogradeness but when you assume it you don't take that retrograde period or portion okay 12 10 2017 scorpio vrishchika rasi assume that jupiter is here now what all it's going to happen nobody is here fine the second dose jupiter and saturn are there so in this month the dhanasthana adipati or kutumbasthana is having saturn and jupiter you can tell easily that there is somebody a guru a teacher somebody is going to enter into this house on 12th you say the date 12th and only is going to enter yes you will definitely enter into the house in 12th and there will be little trouble inside the house yes the trouble will begin on 12th and only that is for sure of course this is month wise i will still get to the uh, i'll think it to date wise then you will understand it better and then you can pinpoint it to one particular date right now the entry here then fourth house fourth house second house you got these planets 12 10 2017 jupiter we assume that jupiter has come into scorpio from there the fourth house is the domestic house ketu is there so you can very clearly say, say that either this person or the family members of this native will go on a holy water trip or they may attend a death ceremony this is true because this month only this gentleman's father in law anil chervan is coming this is what i know about 
this person. So I am able to tell you. That is only one idea, a logical, I mean not logical, it is the fact. Uh, that is one way of trying to tell you what Ketu means, what Ketu will give us. So photos in the family, dead servant, Ketu. Now, what are, there is fifth house, no trinal sign. No, nobody is there in the trinal sign. And no one is aspecting. No one is aspecting. So, only those three things will happen. Because in the Kutupasthana, Jupiter is there. But in the, during October, for this Nagi chart, in the month of October, on 12th, there is an entry of a Guru into that house. Saturn is there. From that day, some sort of tensions will take place in the house because this is Kutabasthana. Just like you see the second house as Kutabasthana from keeping Jupiter in, in Scorpio or Rishikarasi for the month of October, the second house will be the Kutabasthana. The fourth house will be the domestic place, family. And there is a danger also. Saturn is aspecting Ketu. And based on the rounds you can tell what type of a danger is that. But right now, what I know, because he has aged the father-in-law ceremony inside the house. Clear. Not only father-in-law ceremony. His father's ceremony will also come. Two, three things happen to you. So, October month is over. Next we will jump into such areas. This is November. From 12th November 17, it is the period of Sagittarius. What all happens here? What I said? Trinal signs. Nobody is there in the trinal sign. Here Rahu is there. So, because of Rahu, there will be some changes. One week. And from here, the fourth house is aspected by Sun and Mercury. So there will be celebrations, naming ceremonies or something for a child for those in the month of November. And Mars is aspecting here and here also. 7,000, 8,000 side in the month of November, 12th November, when Jupiter sits when we assume that Jupiter is sitting in Sagittarius, he will be having Rahu in the trinal sign, some changes in his life. Fourth house is aspected by Sun and Mercury. He has to attend a marriage or some function is there, naming ceremony is there. And Mars is aspecting both finance and the Jupiter placement. So, Mars problems. Tensions, tensions at work, that will be there. Okay. Health issues. I cannot say health issues because he is not the sixth house lord. So Mars will give you troubles. He is aspecting eighth house, second house from Jupiter, second house from Jupiter. So he will also create unnecessary expenditure. Mars is nothing but he is aspecting the eighth house aspect is Dhanasthana, Kodamasthana. So he will bring expenditure here. This is what will happen in November. Let us move on to next month. 12-12-2017 That is the December month. When you come up till December month, nobody is expecting except Mars. Clearance of law, expenditure of money, because he is in the 6th house, sickness part of it. Because Jupiter is assumed to be in Capricorn and that date, there is nobody else. Ah, Sun and Mercury are aspecting. He has to visit a temple because Sun is a Lord, Sun is a God, Sun is a deity. And Mercury is nothing but relatives. So that God, that deity will be in the place where he has his relatives. He has to visit here. 12, 12. And trinal sign, only one is there. No aspect. That's clear. Wherever in each month we use only three things. 
the trinal sign, aspect and placement. Who is there in that sign? Right. January. From 12th January till 12th to Ketu will be there. Now in this period, Ketu is exactly from the Ketu is in the third house from Jupiter. Assumption transiting Jupiter month wise from January 12th till 12th 2 he will be here. K2 is there. Mars is aspecting. Venus and Moon are aspecting. That means he has to travel to a holy place. See, when it was here, it was, when it was here, there was a ceremony. But when it is here, the trinal sign moon is there. Change of place. Travel, Venus. So, he has to travel to a watery place. Pilgrimage center. That will happen in that particular month. When, till when it is there? Till 12, 8. 12, 2, 18. This is about the travel. And trinal sign Mars is there. So, he will have some uh, problems while that while on travel or before travel. This one thing is it. We will jump here. I will tell you the same chart. Now I have told you 12 1 9 2018 till 12 2 2018. We assume Jupiter in Aquarius Kumbham. In this period only, Ketu was there, he has to travel to watery place. When I do the date wise, then I will get you the exact date of travel. If you want, before explanation, I can give you the date of was travel uh, on 8th till 17-2. This is already planned. This is planned very recently. Why it is going to happen in that period, that has to be explained to you all now. When we plan for a travel, we don't check the exact date of travel according to the planets. We fix it according to the flight fares. Whenever there is a cheaper fare, only we try to book a flight tickets on those days. Why is having the travel to a pilgrimage center? His interest is Varnasi and it is a watery place. One thing, Shivaratri, 15th. Second thing, there is a marriage, his friend's daughter. Third thing, these are the reasons what you people don't know, what I know, what uh, I know about this person's journey and why he booked that. That can be correlated or that can be known when I tell you in my next video. When I pick the dates, the same chart I am going to put and same chart I am going to... You remember these dates. I will not remove any of these things. It will be as it is. Date wise I am going to take it. On that date and this month period, you will know exactly this is the date he booked the ticket. This is the date he is going to come back from the journey. Ah, I mean, this is the date he is going to go for a journey. This is the date he is going to come back from the journey. That I will prove it. Next, we will go to April. April. Again, Moon and Venus. 12-3 he comes here. Till 12-4 he will be here. Moon and Venus are there. He will be getting the financial benefits. Fifth house, Rahu is there. And Jupiter and Saturn is there. So here, he has to take new students. He has to teach somebody because profession is going to have some changes. Rahu, Saturn. Rahu is trinal to Saturn. Jupiter is trinal to Aries. These three people, Rahu, Jupiter, Saturn. What do you get out of it? Jupiter is education. Saturn is profession. 
He is going to teach somebody on that period. Yes, even that is true. Because he has already, because of this journey, this gentleman has postponed his study part classes for March. Whether he is going to start it at 12 or before 12, we will wait and see. Even that is also a big question mark for us. Okay? If I am a little fast, I will try to do it slowly. Try to concentrate. Don't break this. Because this is the main subject now. But next, 12 for the transiting Jupiter, we are going to assume that he has come to Taurus, Vrishabha. And see the fun. When he sits in Taurus the whole month, Expenditure is seen. Mars, he will take away the money. Trinal sign. Sun and Mercury is there. For what is that expenditure? For some function, some celebration, some uh, puja, something. Because sun, deity, Mercury, child, naming servant, birthday, birthday celebrations. Yes, in this date there is a birthday of the grandson. Okay, that is different. We will come to uh, next. Who is there? Uh, aspecting, nobody is aspecting. No one is there. Only one trinal sign. We will go to May, 12th May. Mars is there. Jupiter and Saturn are there. And Moon and Venus are there. So, he has to exhibit some skills. He has to Exhibit some skills pertaining to the profession because of Saturn's aspect. Jupiter, to the students, he is going to exhibit that skill. Venus and Moon, he has to have a travel, he has to have some money flow. Naturally, whenever you are going to do something for the students, in turn, you will get some funds. And because Saturn is the profession giver, it is related to the profession, it is flow of money changes. June. Who is aspecting June? Jupiter is not aspecting. Uh, no one is there. It will go just like that without much problems. Of course, date wise, if you dig into it, something will happen. We are not right now touching the date wise incidents. Month only. Don't say that in the whole when if you, as if you are going to sit down in a room. Nah. You are going to get certain things done, but that depends on the date wise calculations. So June 0. Now July. Rahu. Again Jupiter and Saturn. Changes in the professional pattern. And uh, nobody's aspecting. Mercury is there, Trinal, no one is there, aspecting Mars. Here also, he will have some trouble and that trouble pertains to either the trouble in the functions, trouble in the ceremonies, trouble to arrange the ceremonies or because child is there, trouble to one of the child. And then finished. Here ends the matter of one whole year, month wise. I don't know how far you have picked up. But this is the real truth and this is how you can get precise happening of events. Month wise. In middle of retrograde period. But when you take that annual entry of Jupiter, kindly take according to the Retrograde expiry after finishing the retrograde party uh, uh, portion when exactly it's going to end according to the universal law. Assumption comes only for the month wise moments. I think I have done my job here. I will leave it to you. Let us see how far you are going to catch this thing up. And next, one more. The date wise prediction. With that, you will be more than 80 to 90 percent. If at all, if at all, you are going to take the burden on your shoulders and try to analyze your charts or 
as many charts as possible with the date which has already taken place and try to compare it in this format of study you may become masters I am sure many of you definitely will become because anything, anything a human being can learn provided there is inclination, dedication towards it ok, so till I meet you next time I think I will be a good one and we will wait for the date wise um, calculations. Okay? Bye.